Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a really great message today for someone who's feeling discouraged. The Lord wants me to encourage you in this moment. And the title of this message today is God is rebuilding your foundation. For many people, you have been going through a season where you feel like things around you are just a complete mess. You feel like everything around you is breaking apart. You don't understand what's happening. Your whole life seems like it's just been turned upside down. Nothing just seems to be going right. And life just looks very unsure right now. But I'm here to encourage you. There is always going to be a breaking before the breakthrough. Sometimes things will get worse before they get better. Because when God restores that thing, when God turns that situation around, it will give God the maximum glory. Some things look so broken in your life, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a marriage, whether it's your finances, whether it is a position, it is family, like whatever it is that you feel like is just a complete mess right now. It's just so broken and so unfixable. The Lord is saying that nothing is too far broken or far gone for God to come in and turn that thing around or restore it back to its former glory. Sometimes things will fall apart before they get better. What the Lord revealed to me is that many people have not built their foundation on a solid foundation. Many of us have cracks in our foundation. So let's say that you have a marriage and you have lots of cracks in your foundation. God knows that the storms that are up ahead, because we're all going to go through storms in life, God sees that some foundations are not going to be able to sustain the storms and the testing and the trials that are coming up ahead. And so God will sometimes allow that foundation to be torn down and broken apart so that God can then come in and repair it and restore it. But this time God wants you to make sure that you're building on a solid foundation that can withstand the strong winds and the strong storms that are going to come. So what the Lord wants you to know today is that God is going to rebuild your foundation. God can see when a foundation wasn't built on solid ground. When Jesus is not the root of your foundation, it will not last. It will not stand. Anyone who, you know, gets in a relationship that isn't rooted in God, that relationship will not last. Things of this world will not last. That is why we need to be grounded in Jesus. God needs to be our foundation. And many people get into relationships or in a job, a career or business or just with friendships with people who are not rooted in God. God knows when our foundations are not able to sustain the winds and the storms that are going to come. A lot of us have foundations with cracks in it and the Lord knows that these cracks are eventually going to affect the entire foundation whether it's like little things that the enemy you know finds his way into. Um, sometimes we open the door just the slightest to the enemy without even knowing most of the time and the devil can take that inch and he can barge right in and and so the Lord sees that there's like little open things, open cracks that are eventually going to be poisonous to your entire foundation. And so sometimes God will allow your foundation to be completely uprooted, to be completely broken apart because God wants to restore that foundation. He wants to rebuild it and make sure that it's built on a solid foundation. So when your foundation looks like it's just been completely uprooted, your whole life seems like it's just upside down. It's a complete chaotic mess. Understand that God will never remove something without the intention to replace it with better. And so if God has removed something in your life, if there is something that you have lost in this season, just understand that God will always replace what was lost with something that is better there is nothing that is too far broken for god to restore matthew 7 verse 25 says though the rain comes in torrents and the flood waters rise and the winds beat against the house it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock anyone who hears my teachings and does not obey it is foolish like a person who builds a house on sand when the rain and the floods come the winds will beat against the house and it will collapse with a mighty collapse the lord does not want your house built on sand what good is a house that is built on sand sand is not a solid foundation when a storm comes a house that was built on sand will literally break apart because that foundation is not solid the lord wants your foundation to be solid which is why he uses this analogy of a house built on bedrock and a house built on sand a house built on bedrock is solid enough to the point where when the storms come the flood waters rise this house is not going anywhere 
that's how God wants to make your house. He wants to make your house sustain the things that are to come in the future. So I don't know who needs to hear this, but whatever you are going through right now, it is temporary. The Lord says you are under renovation. Your life is under repair. When a house is going through a repair, when something is under renovation, it's not going to be pretty. Have you ever walked into a home that is like under construction? Everything is a mess. Everything looks crazy and chaotic and it's just it's not pretty but we know that after renovation is complete and after the repairs are done the house is going to look so beautiful and so yes that process of renovation is ugly and it's not pretty and sometimes it's really long the end result is so rewarding and it's so worth the wait it's so worth the process of construction so the lord wants you to know that though you cannot see what the end result is going to be like you have to trust that this end result is going to be far greater than you can even ask think or imagine like God has plans to prosper us and not to harm us and so we have to trust that our end result after restoration after the repairs after going under construction is going to be something that is worth waiting for the Lord wants you to know today do not get discouraged when your life looks like it's falling apart when things around you are breaking and your life is just mess the Lord says do not be discouraged because there is a reason for everything God does not just allow us to go through these things for no reason God has a purpose and a plan for your life and everything is intentional your entire life has literally been written out there is going to be a breaking before the remaking there is going to be a breaking before the breakthrough things are going to get worse before they get better the Lord wants you to trust the process even when that process is ugly even when you don't understand the process God says you do not understand what I am doing but soon you will understand Isaiah 60 verse 1 says in the right timing I the Lord will make it happen and so trust in God's perfect timing when he is finished it is going to look better than before the things that were broken are going to look restored back to its former position but better continue having faith in what God is doing we need to walk by faith and not by sight when you start walking by sight and looking at the circumstances all around you and focusing on the things that are going wrong and just focusing on things with your human eyes from a physical perspective that is when you will start to doubt don't take your eyes off of Jesus if you keep on focusing your eyes on the things going wrong all around you you will lose faith you will start to doubt but when you keep your eyes on Jesus in the middle of the construction in the middle of the chaos he will be your peace in the middle of the storm he will be your joy in the middle of the chaos okay so that is why it's so important to just continue to press into God focus on him keep your eyes on Jesus do not take your eyes off of God because the second that you take your eyes off of God and you start to look at the things all around you and focus on the earthly things that is when the devil can come in and put doubt and fear and discouragement and fill you with anxiety and depression the Lord wants to make sure that your foundation is going to be solid you cannot avoid going through the storms of life just remember after every storm the sun comes out a rainbow usually appears and so this is God's promise to you he will be with you through the storm he is going to remind you of his promise that he made to you with a rainbow with the light at the end of the tunnel so don't get discouraged when you're going through the storms and your life is just a mess the Lord is working it out for your good Romans 8 28 says he works all things together for good for those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose the song firm foundation is literally being played in my spirit right now rain came wind blew but my house was built on you and then the song says Christ is my firm foundation the rock on which I stand when everything around me is shaking something 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 but anyways that song you guys should listen to it if you've never heard it it's so good and I feel like this obviously applies to this word like God is going to be your foundation okay when the rain comes the winds blow your house is built on Jesus and it's not going anywhere when the storms of life come when the financial difficulties hit when the problems in your marriage start to arise you're literally solid you're not shaken by the things of this world, by whatever the enemy throws at you. You're going to be so solid in Jesus that literally nothing can shake you. When the enemy comes with the lies and he comes to try to take your mind off of the purpose that God has for you, when the enemy tries to send spiritual attacks and give you spiritual warfare, you're literally 
like so firmly rooted in God that like absolutely nothing that the enemy throws at you can like take you off of the path of your purpose. There's always going to be a breaking before the breakthrough. God knows what he's doing. So just trust the process. The Lord is rebuilding your foundation. So I pray that this is an encouragement to whoever has just been facing so many trials. They've just been going through so much warfare, so many attacks. And you just feel like, man, this is it. I, I've got to give up. Like, I don't know how much more I can take. You've literally been saying God, to God, like, I want to just throw in the towel. Like, I don't want to continue going. And the Lord is telling you today, you cannot give up. When you're done going through this renovation and rebuilding process. You're going to be so happy that you did not give up. Like you're going to be so proud of yourself for not quitting when you wanted to quit. And you're going to be thanking God for bringing you through everything that you had to go through. Because like I said, the storms that we go through, the rebuilding process, the renovation, the construction that we have to go through is so important because this is going to develop your character. This is going to strengthen you. This is going to give you endurance this is going to give you wisdom like god is doing something in the midst of that rebuilding in the midst of everything falling apart god is strengthening you just like any athlete we have to go through training god is training you god is testing your faith are you going to give up when things get hard or are you going to continue to press into the lord and praise him in the middle of that uncertainty God wants you to press into him because he will give you the strength to overcome everything that you're going through. You were not meant to do this on your own. The Lord knows that you are not by your own strength. You are weak. You've come too far to turn back. The Lord says he's still waking you up every morning because he's not done with you. There is still a purpose and a plan for your life. And you have an earthly assignment that you're called to do. Whether you like it or not, you're called and you're chosen for such a time as this. So the enemy is going to send whatever he can to try to get you to quit, to try to discourage you, to try to make you feel unworthy. God isn't with you. And these are lies. The devil is a liar. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He's the master of deception. Don't allow the enemy to win with the thoughts that you've been having. Continue to press into God. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Do not let the enemy, you know, sink his claws into you. God is getting ready to restore all the things the enemy stole from you, whether it's time, relationships, money, whatever it is, rightful positions. The Lord is going to restore it all. So don't worry about what you've lost. Do not look back at the past. Do not dwell on the things of the past because he is doing a new thing. And now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? The Lord is doing a new thing. That rebuilding is going to lead to a new beginning for you. The Lord is doing a new thing. Ooh, and I feel that so spiritually. There is a new beginning that has yet to come that you need to look forward to. Don't look backwards. Look forwards. Keep on going forwards. Keep on placing your eyes on Jesus and trusting in where he's taking you. Where God guides, he provides. So I love you guys. And I pray that this will serve as some encouragement for whoever needs it. If you've been feeling like giving up, if you've been feeling like God is just not hearing you, he hears you. Don't let the enemy make you think that he's not hearing you. He hears your cries. He sees your tears and he is going to restore it. He is going to bring those dry bones back to life and you are walking into something new. Everything's going to be brand new when God is done. Don't worry about what looks dead in this season because God is a restorer. I love you guys and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.